Welcome to the Make It Happen with Will Polston podcast. So you talk about, and, and it's something that's so evident, and it's been a huge part of you based on what you've said that enabled you to be able to, to, to defy all of the odds and every doctor that said that you wasn't going to be able to walk again or move again. And, and you did that by the power of visualization. So for you, where most people would visualize, if, they, if they're asked to visualize, they think and they just see themselves, you were... You, you were what I would call in an associated state. So you would imagine yourself actually sort of putting your shoes on and doing those things, or you would see your whole body. You'd be watching yourself. Which was it? Yeah, when you were like the doctor, I would see the doctor getting close to me. I'd see his hand reaching out to me. I'd see my, see, I was seeing what was going on around me. I yeah. wasn't picturing myself out there in another dimension doing something i'm fixing everything around me that time is in real life yeah so you you made it as if you were seeing it as if you were looking out of your own eyes you know you, you got it yeah exactly and that so i I've, i'm scored in neurolinguistic programming nlp as most people know it and we talk about associated and disassociated states sure. like, a disassociated state is seeing somewhat like you could see yourself in the future doing the thing. Whereas an associated state is you, you, if you imagined your dream car, let's, I don't know, I'm making it up. Let's say your dream car was a Ferrari. You would, you would literally see your hands on the steering wheel, looking at it yeah, like, as if you could go yeah. and sit in your car right now. See, so right. Um, my, one of my goals and, and money doesn't really mean nothing to me. I make a lot of money, but, uh, I'm got something set up right now that was in three, about three years now, um, that I'm going to have about three billion dollars in the bank. Three billion. Now, I don't need three billion dollars, but I, my goal all my life has been to make a million dollars a week by the time I'm 75. Now, I, I said, well, that's way too low. My goal now is to make three million a week. Most of that money when we been put in a charitable or remain in trust where I can do a lot of stuff for other people, homeless people, um, donating to the kingdom of God. I'm a real strong Christian. Uh, you know, I believe that you're fit here to help other people. But I'm going to take some of that money and use it for myself now because if God's got a mansion for me up in the sky, which he said he does, you don't want me living in chicken coop down here. <laughs> so I've got 186,000 acre ranch I want to buy in New Mexico. I'm looking at. Wow. Uh, I'm with 300 square miles. I want to build me a 20,000 square foot little cedar home on that. And we're looking at 2,000 acre lakes I'm going to have dug on it. Homes around and I have to staff my people that are going to run my ranch. People that work for me run my companies. And my own runway on there with a brand new citation latitude jet, brand new Gulf Stream jet. Now, I was talking to a man down the day. I don't share my dreams with many people because everybody wants to pull you down. It's like a crab in the barrel syndrome. My mother, used, when I was a boy, used to go crabbing. She loved to catch crabs. And she'd come home and put them in a big pot. And they start, they be down the stove and they got warm and warm and they start getting warm. And then they start crawling out and they get out. As soon as one gets up to the top, one falls it down. Well, that's how people are. But I had a guy the other day, I thought was a friend of mine, about six months ago. And I was sharing a little bit of my dream with him, I don't usually do that. He said, well, in that little sort of fancy way. Well, you don't have that man yet. And you don't live in that ha uh, big house yet. I said, uh, yeah, new fella, I've got it. I'm born and raised. I've got it, but I just ain't moved into it yet. <laughs> he, he didn't get it. <laughs> I, I, I get it. I, I get it. <laughs> So, so for you now, goals are still obviously something that's really important for you. You're still setting goals. You're still striving. You still want to do things. Obviously, for you, the reasons behind why you want them are maybe a bit different. You can find the full episodes of the Make It Happen with Will Polston podcast here on YouTube, on iTunes, Spotify, and all other major podcast platforms.